Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So in this video, we are going to take our discussion forward related to performance characteristics of measurement systems, static characteristics. So, so far we have discussed a lot of static performance characteristics. In this video, we are going to discuss about another important static characteristic related to uh, measurement systems which is threshold and resolution so threshold and resolution they are uh, related to the input values which give us particular output results okay input and output again everything every performance characteristic associated with measurement system is one way or the other related to the input output relationship be it sensitivity be it drift be it linearity whatever so threshold and resolution are two important parameters when it comes to establishing the input output relationship now so far <clears throat> we have discussed a lot of things related to the input output relationship for a measurement system we have a measurement system okay where we give an input to it then we get the output okay the output is specified between a low and high range the input is specified in between a low and a high range depending on the input output relationship the output by input ratio is calculated okay small change in output brought about by a small change in input which is called as sensitivity depending on that we determine the sensitivity relationship the input output relationship curve or the calibration curve but one important thing which is to be understood related to the measurement system is at what particular input value okay at what particular input value do we get a non-zero output okay suppose uh, the input is zero initially okay input is zero when the input is increased from zero what is that minimum value of the input okay what is that minimum value input at which we at the output is non zero it is not equal to zero okay it uh, detects that minimum input and provides some output okay zero unit okay so that minimum value of the input which produces a non zero output is called as threshold okay that is called as threshold so it is the minimum value of the input that can be detected by the measuring instrument and measured and it gives us a reading that is called as threshold again resolution when we discuss resolution it is very much related to this the same concept so here resolution means suppose we get a non-zero output okay we get a non-zero output the system is responding then let's say the system responds at a particular input value uh, the minimum uh, let's say any uh, okay i mean okay i mean it is responding and i mean at i mean it gives us a output value okay let's say o1 at i mean it gives us an output value O1. Then after beyond I min, after how many units of input increase, the reading will change from O1 to O2, the next reading. Okay. After how many increase in the units, okay, input unit increase, the output reading will change. Or how much change in the input can be detected by the instrument to cause a 
fluctuation in the meter reading that minimum input change that can be detected by the instrument okay that minimum input change that can be detected by the instrument that gives us a fluctuation in the output or that uh, that can be detected by the instrument that is called as resolution that is called as resolution also it is called as discrimination so if we want to define it we can define it as the smallest change or the minimum change in the input which can be detected by the instrument or the measuring system and gives us a measurable change in output okay so suppose uh, if we want to explain it further let us say we have a uh, just we are uh, taking an example we have a measuring system in which the threshold value is 0 0.2 okay i mean is 0 0.2 the minimum detectable input it means that when input value will be 0 0.1 the output will be 0 units okay even 0 0.15 it will be 0 even when it is 0 0.19 it will be 0 only when input is 0 0.2 it will give us an output the out it will give us a non zero output so this is the threshold similarly let's say the resolution okay the resolution of this device is let's say 0 0.05 units okay so from 0 0.2 when the input is changed by a factor or the difference between uh, the, the increase is by a factor of 0 0.05 units that is it is changed to 0 0.25 there will be a change in the output if the input is changed to 0 point let's say 22 it will not give us an output because it is uh, less than the uh, resolution or discrimination value okay so, so threshold and resolution they are very important things so here I have just taken an example it is not like that it is it happens just to make you understand I have taken this numeric values it can be different from this also but just to make you understand the concept of threshold and resolution so threshold and resolution they can be expressed directly in terms of uh, this numeric values but normally it is expressed as percentage of full scale reading okay full scale reading for a instrument the maximum scale reading and in terms of the percentage of that okay so like that threshold and resolution are expressed okay